Hey guys, good morning, Don here. I wanna talk a little bit about uh, one of the struggles that we had, I don't know if you guys have this, but uh, every single day I have to log in about 500 times. And <laughs> that's what it feels like. In my computers, I have one computer at my office and then one in each of the treatment rooms and we're always logging into different applications. So I have uh, a couple of tips that have kind of made it a lot easier and uh, they might work for you. The first one you, you may not have heard of is something called a gatekeeper. Uh, a lot of times uh, that we, when we were in the hospital, we used to have these um, those little cards that you tap and it uh, opens up a computer and it logs you into your system. A lot of big hospitals have that, but it's hard for a smaller clinic to have something like that because it's uh, kind of cost prohibitive. So there's something called a gatekeeper. That's the name of the company and uh, you can just kind of google it and you'll find it basically it's um it, it's a little dongle that i wear around my um around my neck it, it just has a little thing and based on where you're at in the office it either unlocks or locks your computer and it works really well uh, i think it's maybe about i don't know 60 or 70 dollars per each doctor gets one of these things and then you have to set up the sensitivity. We tried this a few years ago and it was horrible because like when one doctor got close because our office is kind of smaller and so when one other one doctor got close it like logged one out and logged the other person in and just but if you set the settings it takes a little bit of time to set the settings the sensitivities of when it unlocks and locks it really makes it easier so every time we walk into the treatment room it it will um, unlock the computer and then when we walk away it'll it'll lock it again so that's the first thing uh, I use all the time. The second thing I use is uh, a password manager. There's a lot of different ones. One's called 1Password. Uh, I still like the Google password manager. And when I'm logging in to all the computers, I have a couple of things to log into. I usually log into Google Chrome because that's where our, where our medical record is. We use Athena and that's all web-based. I also log into uh, our, our x-rays and that automatically logs in. So everything kind of automatically logs in. This gatekeeper, it does have a way of remembering your password. So if you wanted to do it through the gatekeeper and you wanted to have it more protected than Google, uh, you can do that as well. But um, that's those are some tips for logging in. So what happens now, the workflow is we, we get there, it logs you in, you kind of do your, your work, and then as you leave, it logs you out. It just makes it a lot easier. Uh, what are the bad points? Well, the bad points are you sometimes forget your password because um, we still leave one computer. It's one in my office that I actually have to log into. Um, otherwise, you'll you'll you do these passwords. You still have to reset them once a month uh, for most Microsoft systems or other types of systems, and you'll forget your password, which is kind of a pain. But um, besides that, there's really no other down downside to it. So yeah, it's called. Um, I'm looking at mine right now here. It's called uh, Gatekeeper, uh, Gatekeeper, and H A L B E R D. It's uh, gkaccess.com. Um, that's the one we're using, gkaccess.com. Uh, you might want to check it out. It might be something good for your your office. Uh, I recommend it. We've been using it. We this is the second time around. First time around, it, the the product wasn't that good, or we weren't. Um, that diligent about setting it up the right way, especially the sensitivity settings. And our IT people set it up for us. It was pretty easy. Okay, uh, once again, um, I invite you to go to podiatrypracticemastery.com, uh, get more information. All the old uh, interviews that we've done are there. They're also on this podcast, the, the group sessions. And uh, if you guys have any uh, questions, reach out to me. Just uh, send me a message. i uh, love to hear uh, what you guys want to hear more of and learn more about. Okay, have a great day.